OptiGuard. OptiGuard Solo. MultiGuard. And UniGuard rupture discs and should serve as a supplement to the written instructions provided with your disc. Before installation, please ensure that you have all necessary tools and products to hand. Your first task is to loosen the bolts from the flange. Once these bolts are loose, remove all of them, except for the lower pair. These two bolts should remain in place throughout the installation process. It is now time to remove the disc holder and gasket from the flanges. Inspect the gaskets for damage or contamination. Clean or replace them as necessary. Next, unscrew the LFAB flow tail detection device and place it safely to one side. Dismantle the holder and lift off the inlet. Next, remove the used disc from its holder as you do so, avoid handling the ruptured part of the disc. Compare the used disc tag to the specifications on the box of the replacement disc. Now, before proceeding with the installation of a replacement disc, remember to safely dispose of your used rupture disc. To install your replacement rupture disc, carefully remove the disc from its packaging. Be sure to handle the disc by its outer rim. Incorrect handling will compromise the safety and performance of the rupture disc. Damaged discs should not be used under any circumstances. Before you place the new disc in its holder, take care to clean the surface of the disc holder. Insert the new rupture disc into the holder. As you do so, note that the disc's tag alignment ensures the correct orientation of the disc. Once the new disc is secure, reassemble the disc holder and refit the flow tail detection device. Put the gaskets back in place and insert the disc holder between the flanges. As you do so, note that LFAB's intelligent system lock technology prevents any incorrect orientation of the disc holder. With the disc holder in place, it is now time to refasten the flange bolts. Slide each bolt into position and loosely fasten it to the flange. To prevent damage to the pipework, these bolts must be tightened in a specific torque pattern. For the correct bolt torque pattern, please refer to the printed installation guide included with your rupture 